close. Really quickly, really early, because otherwise Portland just drops back and basically the back four becomes a back. And it's important for them to get Claudio Bravo back because he is their first choice left back. Second yellow card against, and kind of a, a sloppy one against LA. There's a Paul through. And Tacker gets into the penalty area. It's, it's, it's often going to be a yellow card, and it was his second. So he missed last week, but he's back this week for Portland. There's back to Pomichol. As he'll switch fields. Pretty square ball there. He's back on this right side after switching for a short time with Espria. Only as far as Pomichol. Pomichol into the box. Cervania takes an effort. Right. Great job by Marco Farfan of preventing the turn there. And as the ball gets played out, it's just sort of, it, it, they're just hit, hitting their little bad run right now. And it's not a season long thing. Could also be maybe the fix of adding another attacking winger like an Alan Velasco. Should keep going. A rare sojourn up the field from the center back. 39% possession. That was at home. About right at the end of the first half in Portland. We'll go up the left the diagonal. That's the right side for Portland. The Dallas left. Pomichol initiative. Portland has taken a couple of those. Here's Ferreira curling toward the back post. Hedges nods it down. Pomichol reaching a methodical kind of build for the ball. The outswinger toward Hedges. Gets past him. Headed away by McGraw. Pomichol back into the mixer. Again knotted down. Only as far as Cervinia. Cuts to his left. Trying to cut it. Cerrillo gets control of the ball from Farfan. Cervinia. Now Velasco. Head up. And he catches Ayala with it. But you know, falls for Farfan. Now a little give and go with Ferreira. Marco Farfan at the end line. Sends it across. It's headed clear. But only as far as Ferreira. Dallas and Portland Timbers. Owen Newkirk alongside Steve Davis. Thank you very much. Of course, Garrett Melser down at the touchline, our sideline reporter. Thank you for joining us here on this gorgeous evening here in North Texas. And of course, it wouldn't be a sporting of us to not say a quick hello to our other broadcast partner, Mark Followell, who is not able to join us tonight, but we'll be back in the broadcast booth for Dallas very soon. Velasco, first time effort, a dummy, and Ferreira buries it! Try to dummy the defender into thinking you're going to make a play on it and let it go through, which is what he did. Yeah, it's a fake and then you leave the ball. Every now and then we have to do a soccer 101. Runners in the box, not taking a second touch, just immediately. You know, that's, it's the speed, it's not lingering, taking another touch, looking around, slowing it down. It's that urgency of play that really stands out. Has not who with him. Cerrillo tried to tuck it to the middle, but it was intercepted by Jimmy Char. And then a collision play on as Pomichol goes down. Guaranteed allocation money involved in that trade, which is a lot. Well, you know, he's, he's really committed and done the job, I think, for FC Dallas. And he's had a big hand in both goals tonight. Long left-footed diagonal ball from Pomichol. Ariola trying to trip section down to our right. Really ramping up this Toyota Stadium crowd after two quick goals. Through. If that didn't touch Jesus Ferreira, I think Ariola's in on goal. Velasco was definitely trying to pick out Ariola, and Jesus just didn't. From your favorite players, we're giving away a prize a match. For more details, go to fcd.com slash sweepstakes. Oh, and we mentioned that Portland's still missing their top two choice center backs. I'll let flick, you take this. Flick by Char. Looked like it might have glanced the arm of Martinez. Curl at her in our field mics. That was the fourth official, Matthew Thompson, having a word with one of Gio Savarese's assistants. Somebody on the Portland bench not happy. Here's Ferreira. A chance for a hat trick, and he does! How about a hat trick in the first half for Jesus Ferreira? Well, they brought David Bingham in as well as even just, and they let him duke it out. Portland. Snapped in, outswinger from the far side, headed away by Martinez to the top of the box. Pomichol on farther. Appear at the moment that is cost Dallas. As Pomichol clears, but looks like his follow through caught a Spria. Martinez. I would imagine when you get a big lead like this, sometimes you can feel the urge to try a few things that you might otherwise not. Their captain back near midfield. It's headed clear, but not out. Pomichol went for the spec. Matthew Thompson. Two minutes of stoppage time here at the end of the first half, and there's a nasty little slide. Looked like Cervania got caught, but was not spotted by the officials. He played back to Van Ranken. For about
about 25 of our fought in. He was getting encouraged by maintain our levels, try to keep improving, and try to win the second half. I don't know if we perhaps the front office and the Tech 22 National Soccer Hall of Fame weekend. Go to nationalsoccerhof.com to get your tickets to the show today. There's a long diagonal ball towards Paul Ariola. He's first time effort. Just ineffective. You're just kicking the ball out of bounds or giving it back to him. There's a long run for Van Rankin as he tries to get forward. Pomichol tracking him. Right, kind of wrong footed Ayala there. As he couldn't get control, but then he's going to get it. It's a foot in. Blanco chasing. Martinez has his partially deflected as it went sideways, not forward up the field. Nanu from Bravo, but can't get it to a Dallas teammate. Pomichol gets tripped up and he draws the foul. Cuts back against Chara. That's Yimmy Chara. And Pomichol will set it down. Boy, a good explosive Our fan surplus. So they trade him away to Los Angeles. So maybe this game just means a little bit more to him. Cervania has a deflected pass. Go right to Blanco. His take and a fit. Left foot curler forward. Blanco. That just held him off. Now Pomichol, that's a little bit of a stretch. Just got it away from Cervania. Couldn't get it into Pax and Pomichol. Tuiloma. A tough half so far. Early in the second half. Just trying to deny that service. Bravo. On the counter attack. Blanco has been in the middle of everything so far that's been dangerous in the second half for Portland. Oh, Jimmy Chara. Velasco tried to shrug him off, didn't do it. Chara to the box. Flick away by Martinez. Did just about enough to keep that away. And then Pomichol with a good sliding challenge goes off of Bravo. The game was actually on a shot that was not on target. I think he did possibly get a touch on it though. But I enjoyed that as a, as a fan and viewer. Run for Van Rankin on that little overlapping flick. They can't do the give and go as Pomichol it's right in the way, and now Velasco can run if he wants to. He has help right by the supporter section. Just wondering as we are in the 60th minute, how much longer Nico Estevez will give young Alan Velasco for his MLS start. Pomichol. There is Velasco on the opening goal. Bravo. Into the middle, Blanco, who's popped up all over the attack. Almost looks like they're playing a 4-4-2 with a diamond midfield, although as so that was a really important moment for him. You know, as a winger, that's it. You know, get a goal, get an assist, make an impact, and that's what he did. Of course, we've mentioned on a couple of occasions, both last year and this year, that got in the referee's ear is to suggest he had to wait for Farfan to get off the field. But that'll be something that Chapman will probably be keeping an eye on with Dallas kind of hanging on, even though they have a two-goal round. They're just trying to send it up the field. Uh, Dallas will try to come back on the counter. Pomichol, left-footed effort, deflect on him for time-wasting. So he goes into the book. Uh, you've heard us say it several times now. It's one of the uh, four areas. Pressed by O'Brien. Got it up to Jimmy Chara. See some scores going on from other games earlier today. Orlando City beat LA Galaxy. Chicago Fire with a very impressive win against Sporting Kansas City. Here's a ball forward. Ariola, right footed effort. There it is. There Obreon's goal to open the season, scoring for FC Dallas. That was against Toronto FC back in week one. Fight! Remember, he had a big moment, even though he didn't get an assist.